Teresa Holy Talks. I'm standing here with Juan, the Director of Development and Communications for CCB2. Um, check the description for more information um, about how to find this organization online. So I'm going to ask Juan some questions and Hello, Brian. Hello, Melissa. And thanks for taking the time to talk to us here at Habit Charities for the Queens. So, um, tell me a little bit about CCBQ, and um, and then also tell me a little bit about what the world of nonprofit is um, looking like today for the development portion of it. Um, yeah, talk a little bit about that. Sure. Well, Catholic Charities for the Queens is one of the largest multi-service uh, nonprofits in New York City, actually in, in the nation. We offer 180 programs and services throughout the two boroughs of Brooklyn and Queens. Uh, we have 105 site locations and we have 3,000 employees. The type of services we offer is everything from crisis intervention all the way through affordable housing. We have 4,000 units of affordable housing, making us one of the largest providers of affordable housing on the eastern seaboard. We also provide the social services to the community, whether it's through advocacy, um, working with our local legislators to try to reduce the line of poverty throughout the two boroughs. Uh, we work with many other nonprofits and collaborative partnerships to advance the cause of the people who might have the most silent voice in our society. Perfect. So, um, any tips um, to tell us what the landscape is looking like for development in a New York nonprofit scene right now? I think fundraising is always a key um, part of any nonprofit. You work very closely with your administration, with your board of trustees. It's a key position in that you're always looking to add more resources into the agency's portfolio. I think in terms of breaking into it, the easiest way to start is through volunteering or offering to do an internship. Once you do that, you can start to establish yourself and get some contacts. That is always the most um, marketable thing to an uh, organization and to a nonprofit. I think after that, in terms of how you start, you have to find an organization that you are passionate about. For me, at Catholic Charities Brooklyn Queens, I've been there for nine years. I find the work very fulfilling. I'm passionate about the type of work that I do. I believe that we do make a difference in the community, and I see it every day. I'm proud of the work that we do, and I'm happy to work with the colleagues that we do. That makes it an easier uh, way to get other people involved in the organization as well. When you really care about it and you know that you're making a difference where you change lives and build communities every day, it's easier to explain that to other people like it is to what well, I'm doing with you today. Perfect. And um, hint, hint, you know, <laughs> this is the perfect kind of place to build those contacts, even um, events like this. Absolutely. The more networking you do, the more you get out and make yourself known in your organization and the better off you're going to be. You can see over my shoulder, we have 130 people here tonight for this networking opportunity. You can find out more information on our website, which is ccbq.org. Um, if you'd like to intern with us, if you would like to come and volunteer for a day, if you'd like to learn more, just talk to the people in the field. You, we can make ourselves available. You can call us at 718-722-6000. Again, that's 718-722-6000. Or we're at ccbq.org. Thank you so much, Brian. Thank you. <laughs>